Hey, come here. Mommy's Jag. Come here. What are we doing, dick? Cockroach boxing. What? You guys been uh, following me, we've been doing a little bit of cockroach boxing, which is just what I call my style Let's of boxing. Say you are a cockroach. It involves this little scuttling footwork here, where we scuttle, 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 scuttle. It's really about making these little micro adjustments of the footwork and keeping this same distance. And what it does is it gives me a wide base so that if I need to move my head or fire either weapon, I can do that kind of no matter where I'm at. I don't have to reset or like get in position. I can move my head in either direction and fire either weapon at any time. So I just call it cockroach boxing because I scuttle around like a little cockroach. And you're supposed to be aggressive. You're supposed to go towards the person and make them like back up and you're like, yeah, it's scary. But you have to threaten them with something. So we talked about that little, that little scuttling boom, boom, jab. Uh, let's talk about it being a low blow. Somebody asked about that. We actually were practicing it that day that we showed it. This is definitely a, a game changer. It's not, I'm not gonna go bing and him go, oh, oh my God, my nuts. That doesn't happen in real life. If you show this jab, normal people, when you jab at their nuts, they do like this, whether you hit or not. And then you can come up top. Uh, we showed, I think we showed the headbutt too. So boom, bing, crack, like that. Did I do that? Yeah. I watched it. Cockroach, that's some cockroach boxing. It involves headbutts. Co what's funny is cockroach boxing actually involves like kicks to the shin too. So I don't even know if we can call it boxing anymore. All right, so we go boom, bing, crack. Or we go to the uppercut, boom, bing, crack, like so. But a lot of you dipshits were like, what about a liver shot? Just go to the body. After I already went to the body. Like I show a video where I'm going to the body and they're like, go to the body. Like, everyone asked about the left hook to the liver. We showed the gazelle punch. I'm gonna show you one of my super secret maneuvers. One of my signature moves. Which I actually, I, yeah. Like I have, the ice pick, right? Yeah, like the, the ice, ice pick? Yeah, basically okay. the ice pick. Right. Yeah, so. Um, I'm coming forward, I'm moving, I'm threatening him. He's gonna be backing up, right? He's gonna be trying to punch at me. I'm moving my head like this, boom. He's gonna back up. I need to float just like the gazelle punch and boom, right to the liver. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move him back, boom, boom, punch him in the dick, boom, 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 crack. Just like this, same footwork. I'll link a video to the gazelle punch up there, but basically, our feet are oriented this way. I crank, I rip, and I'm just, now I'm southpaw facing this way. That's basically the footwork, but it works up top or to the body. So we're essentially combining these two things. We got little cockroach punches, cockroach head movement, back them up, boom, boom, all right? Cockroach shit, cockroach dick, bing, boom, punch with the dick, bing, bing, bing. Careful, go this one in the dick, yeah, boom, bing, woo! <laughs> Hey, right. now you're hitting dicks, man. Yeah. 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 Why does this work? People are going to say, oh, you're like jumping right into a... You know what they think is going to happen? They think I'm going to go like this, and they're going to catch me coming in. No, no, with a punch. Oh, okay. That's what people... See, but Jay's like, no, man, you're about to punch the shit out of me. Very few people are so cool about all this that they can see this coming and think, oh, I'm gonna punch him out of the air. In yeah. all the times I've done this, that's never happened. It'll probably happen now. Next fight I take, some dudes be like, I know what he's gonna do. Yep. You have to make him respect this though. If you threaten him with the right hand, when I show this, see, look, he's like, oh shit, the right hand. And then that loads me up for this little, Right behind the elbow, right behind the elbow. But the key is in the footwork. I've got to land exactly 180. Back in southpaw facing this way, orthodox facing this way. And don't try to throw this. Should I show the secret? Bonus tip, if you stuck around this long, I'll give you one more morsel. This lands a lot against people that know how to fight good. 
because it's like not right. It, what? Get the words well. What? People know how to fight well, not fight good. Oh, shut the grammar police. Shut up, both of you. Right? So if he backs up too much, like he really runs away because he's terrified of the cockroach. <laughs> right? And there's no chance to be landing that. You can make this. They're already hating because this is going to look like, no, there's no way. We're going to do vertical fist. We're aiming for the solar plexus. So he takes a step back and we're going to jump like that. And that, I know that looks like some martial law Tekken shit. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, shit. yeah, I'm telling you, man, you get their hands up high. Right? And the, the vertical fist, especially if you're in like kickboxing or boxing practice and you're wearing gloves, they'll be like trying to block that. And the vertical fist will help you like slide through there. So give that a go. If you, oh god, it's it's brutal and it lands high percentage because especially if you've been doing shit like this and they start blocking with that elbow like that, right? They back up and block with the elbow, right? And you go boom. Woo! So that's some cockroach boxing shit. <laughs>